Here we are, boys. It is time for the divisional round of the playoffs. We are taking on the 12 and 5 Packers. Now, if you guys remember from the time we played him earlier in the season, this guy has probably one of the craziest teams I've ever seen. This is going to be an incredibly difficult fight. RG3 is so close to the throwing abilities, but he's not going to get it this week. We're going to have to run the ball, play balance, play great defense once again. Let's go ahead, dive into some things. Then we're jumping to the game, man, and we're moving on to the NFC Championship. So if we take a quick look at the updated playoff bracket, up there in the AFC, the Bills actually took down the Raiders. The Raiders were the best team in the entire league. They had the best record. It's not really a surprising upset, though. The Bills are controlled by one of the best pro players in the entire world. Uh, for, for whatever reason, that score wasn't updated. I, I believe the Raiders guy just quit out early. The Browns actually take down the Jaguars. The Jaguars had an insane record as well. I think they were 16-1. So the Browns won by a narrow margin in the AFC. And then over here in the NFC, the Rams actually upset the number one seed in the NFC, the Falcons. I was kind of looking forward to that rematch. You guys know he beat me pretty bad earlier in the season. But the Rams with the surprising victory. So we got to go ahead. We're taking on the Packers. Let's look at his roster. And then we're ready to go. All right, so here it is. I mean, this is this not insane? He's got 99 overall Jair Alexander, 99 Ramsey, 99 Rodgers, 98 Bakhtiari, 95 Clark, 92 Juju. Like, this team is actually unbelievable. If we take a look at his wide receivers as well, he is the guy who uh, we, we're not going to say out loud, but he's really fast. 98 speed, 94 for DJ Chark, 93 for Valda Scantling. So, I mean, this roster, it's just, it's just really not fair. But, you know, we've beaten him already this season. We're going to have to lock in. The team cannot be an excuse whatsoever. We're going to have to play smart football here, not turn it over, and get stops on defense. Now, we have some quick upgrades to make. Cam Sims is going up to a 75 overall. I saw a name pop up there towards the bottom of the list, who I'm very excited about. Deep route running, trucking, catching traffic. We'll definitely take that for Cam Sims. James Smith Williams, don't know who that is. My guy, Cameron Cheeseman, getting a huge upgrade to a 35 overall in the divisional round. This is our good luck charm right here, man. Cam Cheeseman. If I'm winning this game, I'm putting Cheeseman in. He's scoring a touchdown. Like I said, just our good luck charm. Cameron Cheeseman up to a 36 overall. We also get an upgrade for our center here. So, you know, nothing too crazy outside of my guy, Cameron Chase Ray is going to get an upgrade up to a 79 overall. And he actually gets plus four run block and plus one strength. That's actually a crazy upgrade. I've never seen that before. It's kind of hard to get excited over like a center upgrade, but that's actually really good for us. 85 run block. Pretty nice. We're gonna have to run the ball a bit more this game. All right, I'm ready to rock though. This is a $300 at minimum game of Madden. The loser of this gets 200. If you win, the minimum you guarantee yourself is $500. So this is a big game right here. Don't really need to talk about it anymore. Let's go ahead jump right into it. All right, I told you guys for the playoffs, we're gonna be doing these longer videos where I talk a bit more before the play, what I'm thinking, what I'm going through. We're playing Who's Your Daddy 2109, the commissioner of the league, probably the best roster I've ever seen. It's time to get the job done, baby. All right, smart football here, no turnovers. Woo, RG3, get out of there, man. All right, good defense. We're gonna have to go for it here. Only a two-man rush from my opponent. Dive, Cam Sims down the sideline. That was kind of close though. I made that read late. Crosser wide open. Terry McLaurin make the catch. Let's go. That is a laser. He's playing super aggressive underneath, just leaving everything over top open. He's only rushing two though, so we should have all day to make those reads. A lot of cover four, a lot of cover four coming in from my opponent, which means we're not gonna have the seams here most likely. I'm going running back wheel and a slant. Let's see if one of these things gets open. Why is he laying down on him like that, bro? The two man rush just went crazy. Two people, like, come on. We got a block. We're on the same route combo. Other side this time. Second and 17, bro. We cannot be getting pressured from a... Uh, 
a single man rush like that. Oh my goodness. All right, make that catch, Gibson. Third and 17. I don't know how realistic a pickup is here, but you know, just make the field goal easier, I suppose. Man, that two man rush, like, uh, just kind of messed up our whole drive. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're going running back wheel once again. I'm gonna motion Curtis Samuel just in case it's man coverage. He didn't follow, so I don't think it is. Wow, I think we were gonna have the crosser for a touchdown and the two man rush gets home once again. <sighs> That's really frustrating, man. I shouldn't be getting sacked by a two man rush like that. I have a, let me make this kick real quick. I have an ability on my right guard, Brandon Sheriff post up, which means he should be dominantly winning double team blocks. That's just really not the case right now. We'll take our three though. Can't complain about any type of points on our first drive. Again, we're relying on our defense to win us this game. Woo, it's gotta be intentional grounding early, man. Come on. Great defense once again, man. We need some more pressure though. That was a coverage sack. Well, I guess it wasn't a sack, but it was great coverage. <laughs> All right, I'm not pressing my defense here. I don't want to get bombed. He's got tons of speed at receiver here, but I'm sending a five-man blitz. I'm trying to get the pressure and forcing an air and throw. There we go, man. Come on, Montez Sweat getting the pressure. He definitely had people open. The pressure didn't get there as soon as I thought it would. We'll take it though, fourth and 10. What is the play call here? Forced under pressure throw. Oh man, we have under pressure in our D-line. We gotta shed, but Aaron Rodgers is too good. Oh, it's a tough one to give up, man. Tackles Apke. There we go. We switch our user Apke this game as well. You no know, huddle to run again. We make the tackle. Let's bring up a third down here. Come on, man. No huddles and runs once again. Oh my god, man. Out of bounds. Wow. He runs, 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 no huddles, and then passes on the two-yard line, which I guess doesn't make a lot of sense, but not an ideal first drive, man. We got him to fourth down. We just got to be able to get off the field. We need more pressure from our defensive line if we expect to win this game. Seven to three, we have to drive down and get seven this drive. Deep corner route open. Nice little swerve catch to stay in bounds. Cam Sims, come on, baby. Again, he's playing very aggressively underneath. We're trying to hit these intermediate throws, and it's working pretty well so far. I would imagine his counter to that would be dropping his zone drops a little bit further back. We'll see if that we'll see if that's what he does. I don't I don't know if he will. But that'll open up the stuff underneath if he does in fact do that. I mean, we gotta make the block. Brandon Sheriff has been an utter disappointment so far this game. I need him to play better if we want to win. Ah, good aggressive defense. I think we had the post over the middle. I wasn't expecting the blitz. That was actually the first time he's done it all game. Good play call by him. Third and nine. We need a decent chunk of yardage right here. Cam Sims, that's a huge catch. Oh my God, I thought Dante, ja I think that was Dante Jackson, but Cam Sims coming down with the secure catch at the one. It's time to get in the end zone, baby. What a beautiful throw from my guy, RG3 right there. He did exactly what I thought he would. He dropped his zone drops way back, but that route gets over top of that easily. Logan Thomas, we gotta fight, kid. We gotta fight. All right, we're hitting him with the QB power to the right-hand side here, especially with the shift to the left. I Oh, man, there's just no way that guy shot in free. My offensive line on the right-hand side is, is having a very rough performance so far. We got to go for this. We cannot take three again. We have to get seven, so this is a two-down situation. He's shifting left once again. His slot corner is over there. We have a huge numbers advantage. 
on the quarterback rap and he actually gets a shed off the side i was about to be very sad but rg3 i i don't know how he got in he just did the guy dumbed out we score man it doesn't matter how we do it doesn't have to be pretty this guy rashawn gary is going crazy off the edge we're into the end zone pending the extra point we're taking a three-point lead i promise you guys we're gonna get a stop on defense we got to just continue sending the pressure and just hope our guys can shed Defense. Ooh, what a dot. What a great read. It's great defense, man. Where's my intentional grounding? Come on, baby. I think he had the wheel for a touchdown. I'm glad he checked down right there. Third and inches, though. We got, Can we get him to a fourth down situation, man? Oh, it was perfect coverage again, man. We gotta contain Aaron Rodgers. I mean, come on, man. Is is this Lamar Jackson or Aaron Rodgers? Like, can we please contain this guy? I mean, there's just no way he runs on that box and scores. Like, that's actually pathetic, bro. I, I dragged everyone up there. Like, come on, dude. My defense is not playing well right now. I mean, look at the run blocking, dude. It's unreal. I mean, goal line. How are we not getting a single shed anywhere? <sighs> all right 56 seconds no timeouts it's gonna take a lot here to get in field goal range but if we can do that we put ourselves in a pretty decent spot to have okay this might be man coverage if this guy's following like that we had the running back wide open we try to get it out but we'll let our running back this time gotta get out of bounds there we go all right we're looking outside fade or deep post over the middle Ah, uh, this guy didn't peel back in time. Third and three. I can't afford to punt it back, man. We're going to have to go for this. I knew he was in cover two. He just did it. He had some really nice adjustments behind it. Good defense. Damn. Make the tackle, RG3. Pressure now. Let's go, Montez. Wow, that's got to be a pick. That's really bad, man. That's just really, really bad. just runs the ball every play of Cam Akers and breaks tackles and no one sheds. Like, oh my God, man, come on. Bro, like this is insane. How is Aaron Rodgers so fast? hard flat man we gotta come up and play that
Alright, well, obviously that didn't go the way we thought it was going to go. The season didn't end in the fashion we hoped it would. A little childish to, to Gronk spike the controller, perhaps. I told you guys, you know, keeping my composure, not getting this tilted is something I am trying to work on. I feel like I've been doing a pretty good job of that. Maybe just some built-up frustration because of it. Kind of chucking the controller. I'm not going to lie. It made me feel a little bit better in the moment, but just a frustrating game, you know. I told you guys this team was insane. We didn't get the desired pass leading ability that we wanted. We were actually one upgrade short this season. And I told you guys, before the game started, neither of those things were an excuse. I'm a good enough Madden player without sounding too arrogant to win the game regardless of those factors. I truly believe that and I stand by it. You know, I'm not gonna sit here and make excuses to be like, oh, his team was so good. He cheated for his team or, or whatever it may be. That's just not the case. Um, I got to do a better job of keeping composure. I know, I've, you know, every time I talk about this, I always get the comments too, like, oh, it's just a game. Like, who cares? Like, you're being too dramatic. Like, I do this for a living. If you're not passionate about what you do for a living, you should probably find something else to do, man. I got to do a better job of keeping my composure. We got to do a better job of containing Aaron Rodgers in the pocket. I don't know how that dude was so fast. Like, that really was kind of the difference in the game. Just me not being able to contain Aaron Rodgers, the constant rollouts just narrowly avoiding the sacks and you know it just it's kind of it is, it is just really tilting when we get pressure and our guys are just running right next to them and they're not tackling them i gotta click on dive at the quarterback's ankles and just overall just just play better you know we played pretty well in the first half we kind of got lucky there at the end and, and just let the tilt take over from there so obviously not the way we want it to end, but it is a multiple year league, right? So we're going to have our revenge tour next season. We're going to finally get the abilities early on with RD3. And I promise you guys, we're taking the league by storm. I'm going to play with an absolute vengeance. We're going to beat the brakes off of everyone we play. I'm sorry to disappoint you guys, man. I know you guys were really invested in this first season, but again, the series is far from over so i'm gonna avenge it for you guys i'm gonna make it up to you guys i promise i appreciate you guys for all the support on the series one of my best cfms ever can't thank you guys enough so even though it is incredibly frustrating that we lost that game ultimately i'm thankful for you guys the support you guys have shown me and with that being said man i will see you guys in season two for the washington football team man peace